Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Tower of God Chapter 455 or Season 3, Episode 38. Uh, I'm really happy to be back and really quick before I get into uh, reading this one, just want to say that yeah, over the weekend or the long weekend from like Thursday to Sunday, I was gone, I was away, that's why I didn't do any videos or anything like that. So this week I'm going to be catching up on a lot of stuff. I want to kind of focus on catching up to anime stuff while still having my normal weekly stuff going on. Um, so yeah, anybody who's just seeing this video coming up and they're looking for any kind of update as to what's been going on, um, I'm going to be doing the double review for last week's chapter and this week's chapter. I uh, might need to separate it into two videos if there's like a ton to talk about for each of them, but I'll probably be doing that Wednesday. It's another one of those situations like usual where it's like, if I get all the other stuff done I want to do tomorrow, and then it's like... I have time to do it tomorrow. I would love to do it then, because the more often I get time to talk about Tower of God, the better. Uh, but it'll probably be Wednesday, just being realistic. Uh, also, I didn't do videos on the last chapters of One Piece and Boku no Hero Academia, but I'll be doing double reactions or whatever on Friday and just doing both chapters in one video for each of them. And there was no Beastars chapter. I think it may be going on hiatus. There's some rumors of that because of the mangaka going on a trip. So that may be going on hiatus for a little bit, but we're not sure at the moment as far as the manga goes. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Also, another thing, when I start doing some more, like, streams and such, and I get caught up to everything and have some more time, maybe early next year, uh, I'd like to add in some new webtoons. There are always so many, like, Tower of God's basically the only webtoon or webcomic I've ever read. Um, I tried, like, the first few chapters of Noblesse once, the first few chapters of Girls of the Wilds once, uh, but there's, like, God of High School, I feel, or what are the titles of some of them? Like, Gosu and Unordinary I heard a lot more recently, uh, but there are a ton that people have always been telling me to read. So, just real quick, so we can think about this ahead of time, uh, would you rather see those as, like, live streams, like maybe I'll stream an hour or two here and there, a couple times a week maybe, and just read however many I can read in an hour or two? Or do you want me to do it sort of like I did my old Boku no Hero Academia and Beastars and Promise Neverland videos, where I just do, like, an hour-long video, and in that hour-long video I do, like, maybe four chapters or something? Either way, that's just something to think about for the future sometime next year. Uh, like what series you want to see and what sort of format do you want to see them in. But yeah, either way, uh, let's get into actually reading this chapter. I loved last week's chapter. I feel like recently, even with like little nitpicky kind of faults with Tower of God, just generally, I've been really, really enjoying the week to week and everything I've been reading. So yeah, I'm excited to see where we get to. We have the 52nd floor here uh, at the very start, near the warp zone. Great. Another waste of time. Sorry. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so happy. We're seeing a late in Hockney. Yes. Another waste of time. Sorry. I thought I found somewhere really similar to, the, er, to what I remember of the picture, but it looks like my memories are all mixed up. If I can't find the real picture, I'm not sure I'll... I'm not sure if I'll be able to get my hands on a piece of the thorn. Attention, this is an emergency. That sounds like the snake guy. The captain sent me a message saying Juvial Grace moved to another floor, and the only way to get out of there is to survive. We've got to go after him. What are you doing? You're cruising for a bruising, boy. Let's go. Hey. Ah, uh, where the hell did you learn to drive? Is it an engineer thing? And of course, yeah, because that's, uh, Yule's an engineer then. So he's pretty much just taking command of their ship and is uh, heading to where Bomb is. Okay, so this is really cool. I'm glad that they're going to be going there, too. An unnamed cave near the wall. Good luck. I'll keep an eye on the warship. Okay, so ship isn't going with them. At least they have Hatsu, though. Like, as much as I love ship for the planning and the strategy and stuff, uh, he's not the fighter that the others are, really. At least from what we've seen. I wish I could go with you, but someone's got to guard the ship. Anyway, call me anytime you're in danger. I'll come get you. That's smart, too, just to have somebody that can swoop in there with the ship if they need it. 
Dude, you're like the most useless person in battle. What's with the big speech? Says Hatsu. Shut up, man. Get out of here. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not rescuing you, even if you beg me. The wall may look close because it's so big, but if we start walking now, it'll take us till tomorrow morning to get there. So hard's troops may be lurking in the area, so we've got to walk to avoid drawing. Wait. So we've got to walk to avoid drawing attention to ourselves. And remember this: we're not here for a head-to-head -head showdown with Kalavan. Our first priority is telling the wall guards that Kalavan's coming. Our second mission is to team up with them to stop Kalavan, and to find out from Kalavan about Ha Jinsung's whereabouts if possible. Got it, Bomb? Okay, so this is... okay. So that's what I had been worried about. I was like, are they really gonna try to fight Kalavan now? Like, even with Bomb's extra years of training, I don't think he could take Kalavan, but this is good. They're basically just trying to figure out where Jinsung is without an all-out fight, and their plan is to use the wall guards to help them if they need it. Okay. Got it, Bomb? Let's be careful. Yeah. And before we got here, Kel Helm told me a bit about this place. Oh, okay, that's cool. According to him, the war hero trapped in the wall is an extremely powerful female warrior, and she sealed herself in the wall to stop the war. So, even if they're... Okay, that must be... It's not Kal Rahim, who I was like, why is that the she that Kel Helm would be talking about that we were seeing in that one internal monologue? But no, the warrior is probably the she that Kel Helm was talking about when he said, like, she's waiting or something like that. So even if they're released, it probably won't be as dangerous as the part of the wall where Evan Kel went. I'm not sure who's trapped over there, but it must be someone pretty dangerous. Okay, so each wall, I guess, has a, or each part of the wall, I guess, has a different warrior, and whatever one is where Kel Helm and Evan Kel are is really dangerous, but the one that bombs that must be the one where the she is. And because she was the kind of person who sealed herself to stop the war, she's probably not as bad a person as whoever's trapped in the wall that uh, Kel Helm's trying to stop. Anyway, if the hero sealed in the wall wakes up, we could go after Kalavan with her. Although the, or although for now, the main priority is keeping her from being unleashed. You're gonna help too, right, White? I suppose so. I was once a slayer, after all. And I wouldn't mind seeing F.U.G. raise a monster. I might even get to eat him when he gets big enough. And of course, Bomb stares him down. I love their sort of rivalry forced alliance. All right. Let's go. See you later. Call me if you need help. <laughs> and Jeff just waves them off. Uh, Kalavan. I hope they'll be okay. And see, this is cool too, because not only do we have this group, but we're also going to probably have, like, Hockney, who can see the future, and Elaine, who is incredibly strong. So we're going to have other strong people. And we don't really know how strong Kel is, but Yule got totally friggin' twerked by bomb, so... Looks like Mian's about to throw something else up. M Mian, wh what's wrong? Are you sick? <laughs> Chip's face. Are you puking? Holy crap, it just puked up a person. Da oh, shit. This is really exciting. I'm I'm loving this arc. Damn it. That was not a fun ride. And Sowo gets spit up. Where did they go? Where are the others? Er, 52nd floor. The wall with a sleeping forget-me-not. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get into this new sort of from the wall of peaceful coexistence to the wall with a sleeping forget-me-not. I'm excited for this new arc. God, we're barely into the chapter, too. Wall of peaceful coexistence. Town within the wall. Oh, shit, and we're seeing Kalavan walking through the town. Kalavan is such a meme. He's so good. Before arriving at the wall... Vice Squadron Commander, did you look into it? You, you don't have to be formal, Squadron Commander. I, I mean Lord Calavan. I just don't have a choice. I, er, I don't have a choice. I'm just a regular soldier. I can't break the Army's rules. It would be rude to the new Squadron Commander. Oh. Okay. So, I guess Elpathian is probably still, maybe, because they're talking to the Vice Commander, and if he's talking to Elpathian then I wonder who the new commander could be. Unless he's talking to, like, I don't know, freaking um, 
Ari Brightsharon or something, and the new commander is um, Elpathian, but I doubt it. Elpathian didn't seem that strong. But, but, so did you look into it? Ah, uh, yes, sir. There are hardly any records about the hero sealed in the wall. She was one of the war heroes who fought around the end of Genesis long ago. The records say she chose to seal herself in the wall to stop the war. And there's a legend. Apparently, in order to make people forget about her role in the war, she erased the memories of everyone from the wall who knew her, except one person. Ah, probably Calhelm. She erased their memories. I don't know how she did it, but anyway, she's clearly a force to be reckoned with. Strong as you may be, Lord Calavan, fighting her with one arm tied behind your back will be very difficult. It doesn't matter. I swore an oath to Lord Zahard. I won't untie my arm, even if it kills me. Okay, so now we're seeing what the oath is. So, anything else? And I wonder what the conditions are, then, for when it does get untied. Like, what he has to do first. Uh, among the people trapped in the wall, there are some with a token capable of er, capable of awakening the hero. I think there's one where you're headed to as well, Lord Calavan. Her name is Kane. She appears to be the younger sister of the hero who sealed herself in the wall. She's the one person... Oh, so it's not Kilhelm, it's Kane. She's the one person who didn't lose her memories up, or who didn't lose her memories. Her younger sister, huh? I'd better find her first. Back to the present. I'm not sure what kind of amazing wall guards you imagine, but you might be very disappointed when you actually see what we do. We're not really a resistance or a resistance army standing up to the hard. We're more we're more like guards just maintaining order in and around the wall. If the wall were destroyed, the hero trapped in it would awaken, and that would only lead to even more chaos. That's why there's not really any reason for Zahard's army to force their way in here. As for the rankers in the other parts of the wall, they may have some kind of sense of duty because they remember the hero sealed in the wall, but, er, but security is pretty lax around here. And to be honest, we won't really want to take sides. Okay, so that's an interesting difference, too, where the people guarding the wall that Evankel's group is at might have a really important reason to want to guard that wall because they know who's in it and have a real reason to want to protect them or to keep them sealed away. But since nobody here actually knows about the hero there, they don't have that kind of, uh, that same sort of personal connection going on. So that's actually a really interesting difference they've got going on here. A lot of rank er, yeah, a lot of rankers have left the wall. There are only a few people of your level here now. Huh? Hey, where did he go? He just disappeared. Where'd he go? My observer didn't even pick up on it. Er sealed hero sealed hero tower in the middle of the town on the wall. Why won't you let me see my sister? An intruder broke into the wall. We were ordered to tighten security. For the time being, I can't open this door er, this door even for you, Miss Kane. Just wait until they catch the intruder. I can't. I've been coming here every single day. What does that intruder have to do with me? My sister's asleep in there. She chose to seal herself in the wall to stop the war all those years ago. All I can do is come and see her every day. Younger sister of the hero sealed in the wall, Kane. Okay, cool, we're getting new art characters. I'm sorry, Miss Kane, but I still can't let you inside. You'll just have to skip a day. Guardian of the Sealed Hero Tower, Ranker, Tonki. Besides, it's been a long time since the war heroes were sealed in the wall. We're only guarding the tower because it's our duty. Maybe it's time for you to move on. Also, Kane must be pretty strong if she's, like, if she can remember her sister or whatever and the sister was sealed way back at Genesis. She's got to be at least a good few thousand years old, maybe. What? You're the only person in this town who remembers the past now, Miss Kane. Just remember that if your sister ever comes back, it'll mean the end of the Wall of Peaceful Coexistence. I know. Eastern part of the town, data room in the control center. Oh, shit. And we see Kalavan has already messed up some guards. And is screwing with the security systems. Hmm. There's only one person named Kane in this town. I found out where she lives. Now, I've got to break er I've got to figure out how to get her to break the seal for me. The er the is the hero sealed in that tower, and he looks up to it. I'm not sure if I can persuade people with anything other than brute strength. Damn it. And she's char er charging away from Tonki. 
Several hours later, Kane's house. She's sitting alone. Kane, I've already made up my mind. I want to give everyone peace and rest. I'm going to end this fight now. Sis, but what'll happen to you? It's okay, Kane. As long as I'm alive, I'll have to fight them anyway. Could you let me go, Kane? Sis. So it's you. You must be the younger sister of the hero trapped in here. And Kalava just walks into her house. Who, who are you? I've never seen you in town. Are you the intruder Tonki was talking about? You're sure quick. That's right. I'm the intruder. My name is Kalavan. I'm here to wake your sister up. What? You, you want to wake my sister up? But why? Because it will end this peace, er, this peace and coexistence, apparently. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I'm not exactly sure either, but there will come a time when those old war heroes will be needed. Besides, don't you want to wake your sister up? She's your own sister, after all. No. I won't let you do it, so just go. I don't know who you are or why you're trying to wake my sister up, but I promised my sister or er, sister I'd never break the seal. Also, there's the fact that Calavan wants to murder her. So, there is that. And I certainly don't want anything to do with someone as dangerous looking as you. Even if you'll never get to see your sister again. That's right. That's what she'd want. I don't want any more fighting here. So, could you just get lost before I report you? Alright. I know I can't force you. So I'll give you my pocket link and go. Give me a call if you change your mind. You sure are persistent. And he leaves. Sorry. But you're not the one my sister's waiting for. Does this mean we'll ever see each other again, sis? Well, nothing lasts forever, right? Really? Then we'll er then when will you come back? Hmm. Ah, right. Remember what our master said before. There are people who have escaped from the tower since the tower's been around. There are stories of a great man and woman, and stories of how FUG was created. Our master said, Someday that great man's child might return to the tower. And I'm wondering if their master then, since they're talking about FUG, and since they were part of the alliance that fought against Sahard, if the master was maybe, uh, Luzlek. And of course Luzlek would, ner er, would know about the child returning. If that time ever comes, could you wake me up then? Sure. The next morning. What? You can't let us in! <laughs> Bomb's group is there. You heard me, this isn't some kind of playground. Why do you keep asking us to let you in? We've come to help you. Shut up. There was a guy just like you here yesterday. He entered the wall and just disappeared. We've already lost over ten people. You're with that bastard, aren't you? Kun, could it be? Looks like Kalavan got here before us. We better hurry up. We came here to stop that person. He's dangerous. We have to stop him as soon as possible. I said no. How can I trust you all? What er, what could a bunch of C-rank regulars possibly do? My name is Juvial Grace. I'm a Slayer candidate from FUG. Do you still doubt me? Just throwing out the credentials. What? A, a Slayer candidate? Please, just let us in. Uh, all right, for now. And they let us group in. Of course, why couldn't White have said, I'm legitimately a Slayer from FUG? And we have these wall guards blocking their path. Who, who are you? So, you're the regular who's been calling himself a Slayer candidate, huh? I'm now placing you all under arrest for trespassing in the wall. Commander of the wall guards, Ranker, delete. What? He's, he's about to get deleted if White does what he did to all the other Rankers at the last station. What? We don't, er, we don't want anything to do with FUG or Zahard. What do you mean? You let us all the way in here. This is the wall of peaceful coexistence. Our ancestors may have once been part of the anti-Zahard alliance. But now, we refuse to associate with any group whatsoever. Plus, an intruder is wandering within these walls as we speak. If you try to fight him, it will only make things worse. Until we catch him and confirm that he's got nothing to do with you, we're locking you all up. At the same moment, the public square in front of the monument. I'm sorry, sis. That guy I met last night shook me up a bit with what he told me. I may not be able to be by your side. Maybe I should have just reported him. But... I'll leave you with some of your favorite flowers. Er, get back, you ghost. It's all your fault. And there are people yelling. We lost a bunch of, we lost a bunch of people because of that intruder yesterday. There are even rumors that Zahard's army is coming to attack us. This is all because of that insane warrior. 
Why should we have to suffer because of your fighting? This isn't a monument to a hero. It's a cursed memorial to that bloodthirsty warmonger. Okay, and they're throwing stones at the, um, flower monument. Smash it. Go to hell. Witch. The monument. Just go away. That's right. They decided to make it for me. Isn't that great? What's the point? You're going to be trapped in it forever anyway. They're trying to dump all this on you. You should, er, you should just stop this, sis. Everyone's gone... Everyone's just gone crazy because they're tired of fighting. That's not true, Kane. If giving them my or if giving my life will bring them peace, I'll gladly do it. I can't believe I'll be remembered as a flower after spending my whole life in battle. But they isn't it wonderful? Although that peace will be even harder for me to bear, if I can bring peace to even a few more people, ah, it would be so beautiful. Should I just stand back and watch this? This is what you wanted after all. Yeah, I'll just have to control myself. That's enough. And Kalavan stops them. <laughs> this freaking essence of murder meme with his little hat. Oh my god. I freaking love Kalavan for just the cheesiest and goofiest of reasons. You. That's the guy from yesterday. Leaving politics aside, once you put her own life on the line to fight for your ancestors... Disgracing a hero who sacrificed themselves in battle is absolutely inexcusable. And he goes crazy face again like at last station. Get lost. And he just tosses him. Ah, like it's nothing. Just tosses a human being like it's nothing. Oh my god, Calavan is so great. Intruder. The intruder's here. Call the guards. Don't get me wrong. I didn't do this to persuade you. I did it because of my own personal beliefs. But is this really the kind of peace your sister wanted? Oh, I love this. This was really good. I'm interested in the new location. The new location's really cool. I like that uh, Elaine's group is going to be heading there, it seems. Uh, Soho is there now, which is really interesting, and I'm really curious to, as to why Soho would be there. Uh, Bombs group I love, and I like that we're getting introduced to these new uh, characters like Tonki or Delete, who is probably going to be jobbed out pretty quickly, you would think. Um, I like that we're getting introduced to those new art characters. I'm really interested in Kane so far. Kalavan was hilarious. I, I, I really, really, unironically love Kalavan at this point. Um... So yeah, all of that, all that was really great. It just, it's another one of those things where I said a few chapters ago that all this different stuff going on kind of made me feel like I felt in, um, in early Tower of God with so many different things and different groups and characters going on. What I like about this chapter though is a little bit different. It's one of those things where it's exciting. Whenever we get to a new location with some new stuff going on where we have to learn how the characters and the society there works and how our characters are going to play into what's going to happen there. Uh, like when we first got to Name Hunt Station um, or early on in most arcs, when we have that sort of transitionary period where there's a lot of new stuff being thrown at us, I really enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, this was an excellent chapter. This was really, really good. Um, I don't know how much we'll be seeing of Evan Kill's group. Uh, it would be interesting to see more of them. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're probably going to be sticking with this group. And honestly, too, it was, it was really a big info dump chapter as well. Even though it was much more than that, uh, we know that Hockney is of course looking for the real place that the picture was from so that he can uh, get a thorn fragment uh, before they got sent here and stuff. And we learned a lot about Kane's sister already. Like, we really learned a lot just this early on. But yeah, either way, gonna end this here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts and reaction. Subscribe for more Tower of God and much more on the channel. Like I said, reviews, I don't know. I might have to do these in two separate videos because there was just so much in this chapter. Uh, but either way, even if I do it in two separate videos, they will probably both be on Wednesday, I guess. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to be reviewing last week's chapter and this week's chapter. But I feel like there's just so much to talk about with each of them, especially this one. There are a, a lot went on. A lot of info plus a lot of actual physical things going on. Um, 
But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. If you want to link to the Discord server to talk to me or more of us on Discord about Tower of God or anything else, just ask and I can give you a link. Um, and also, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon to keep these things going week to week, uh, patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or a link will be in the description. Plus, you will uh, have a say whenever we finish Assassination Classroom on what's going to be replacing that. Or if I open up a new weekly slot, you can have a say in what goes in that weekly slot. Uh, but like I said, I'd like to do some more Webtoons content eventually, even if it's not weekly reactions and reviews, because that would probably be too much every week. Uh, but even if I just read through something, whether I do the read-throughs in hour-long videos each week, uh, like I've done for series before, or if I do it say, like I was saying before, maybe once I start streaming a bit more, uh, maybe just a stream here and there where I read through as many as I can and you can just join in live and stuff. But uh, yeah, any suggestions or anything like that, go ahead and comment down there too if you want to let me know what you think about all these new ideas or anything. But yeah, that's it. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time.